Hey there! Today's book review is going to be on Angela's Ashes, a memoir by Frank McCourt. It actually was the second paragraph that made me want to read this book. So I'm just going to read that one quickly to you. When I look back on my childhood, I wonder how I survived at all. It was, of course, a miserable childhood. The happy childhood is hardly worth your while. Worse than the ordinary miserable childhood is the miserable Irish childhood. And worse yet is the miserable Irish Catholic childhood. So, um, the book's actually about Frank McCord's family. Um, it starts when he's about four years old. It tells the story of his parents and um, how they met in America, got married, had four children, and then, because of the recession, moved back to Ireland. So, <coughs> that's where the book starts, basically. Um, it goes on till Frank McCourt's 19 years old and he leaves for America again. Um, what to tell you about this book? It took me 14 days to read it and it's about 459 pages long. I never have 14 days to read a book this long usually. So that already tells you something. Um, the book is told out of a child's perspective. This means in the beginning it's a four-year-old Frank McCourt that tells you his story and in the end it's a 19-year-old Frank McCourt. So there's definitely a progress in style and in the beginning I just couldn't get into it because of this four-year-old telling you about his family and what all happened to them and it's just not a writing style that I'm used to so it really took me a long time this was the, f the one reason, I think, um, uh, why I had so long with the book. The other reason is because it's such a depressing book. So depressing. I couldn't read more than 20 or 30 pages at once. Um, it, ju it just wasn't possible. I had to, to lay it down. I couldn't read it. Um, so basically, it's about Frank McCourt's family, how they struggle with the father who's an alcoholic, always loses his job after the third week because he's drunk and doesn't appear to work on Saturday morning. Um, oh, maybe I should tell you it. Um, the whole story is about uh, the years of the Second World War, so when there have recession in, in America and then uh, war industry um, during the Second World War. So they struggle with a, an alcoholic father, um, constant poverty, famine, they hardly ever have anything to eat, because of that they get sick because they don't have a, a proper meal a day, they mainly only eat roasted bread and sugar, so you can think for yourself what happens to you if that's your only diet. 
Um, <clears throat> then how he tries to to get small jobs to help his his mother get some money. Um, there are a lot of people dying in this book. I won't tell you anything more, but there are a lot of people dying. Um, and the struggle of life in general, that's what this book's about. You also have some funny parts in it, but <coughs> the heavy parts are far, far longer and yeah, it was a really depressing book. So, I give it 2 out of 4 stars. I just can't give it more. Um, it was okay to read. If you ever wanted to read Angela's Ashes, go ahead, read it. Maybe you like it better than me. Um, but for me, it wasn't really worth your while. No. And I'm sure I don't, I won't read it a second time. I'm sure of that. Okay, I think that's all I have to say about this book. Wish you a nice day and see you at the next review. Bye bye.